I'm about to blow your mind, I think. I'm not sure if you've ever heard this before, but I'm going to tell you a secret about the left eye. Now, this uh, neuroscience study, it comes from a Dr. Roger Walcott Sperry. Amazing, you can look him up on his TED Talk. Um, and I want to I want to talk about a few different things, but did you know that when we look somebody in the eyes, it's very important, right? Most people would agree with that. There's a few cultures that don't look people in the eye, but uh, the eyes are the windows to the soul. You can tell a lot about a person when you look them in the eye, right? You'll even have an entity manifest if you know how to work with the light. You have to stare an entity down. So. Here's a little thing that you may not know though. Looking into one's left eye is how you connect. Did you know that you've got three to 10 seconds for a person to make up their mind? They're pr pretty much scanning you. They're scanning you with their right brain. They're scanning everything about you. Uh, past information that they have that relates to traumas, etc., things that are happening with body language, energies, uh, what you're saying, what you're looking like. It's using every single sense and it's collecting so much data that it could smash down the hard drive of a computer. Your eyes are what take in information from a person. And I think most of us intuitively know to look someone in the eye when we want to be serious or when we want to feel heard, but uh, it's often very low vibration emotions that make us not able to look someone in the eye. It'll be things like shame or anger or lower vibrational things, right? So you know within the body, right? I'm speaking to you the last few days how the energy points cross over in waves and it links into moon and sun. I mentioned that yesterday and the day before. I'm trying to show you that there are there are crosses happening. Well, it's the same with the eyes. The eyes pull in the light information and it's also reversed within the brain. So the left eye links to the right hemisphere of the brain and the right eye links to the left hemisphere of the brain. Let's get a little bit medical and scientific. If somebody has an aneurysm, yeah, sadly this happens a lot. If the clot happens on the right side of the brain, it will be the left side of the body, usually, that's affected with something like a stroke. And less commonly, the same. If the clot happens on the left side of the brain, it will manifest on the right side of the brain. So. Hold that information and now let's take it into light energies. I may or may not be confident enough to leave this one my platform. I'll pray into that later after we've discussed these things. And if not, I'll park it on my YouTube channel. Let's see, I'll park it there anyway. So information data. We know subconscious mind doesn't have the ability to make a decision, right? Subconscious mind, left brain, is the data recorder. It works with numbers, analytics. Think of it as your programming system. Symbols speak to the subconscious mind. That's why on television, they use symbols and light to flush that in for programming. You're being programmed. They're telling you it's a program on a tell lie vision. It's telling you a lie and your subconscious mind is sorting through the data and storing it in. You're a little computer bank, who knew? So we've got all this systematic programming happening within the subconscious mind. So this is happening with the right eye and the left eye is happening and sinking to the right brain. Now, right brain I've been trying to show you is your creative side, it's your spiritual side, it's the side of the brain that you actually manifest with using high vibrational emotions, the emotive state, things like joy, bliss state, gorgeous things of who you really are in a, in a higher realm, who you are in the heavenly plane, that all operates out of the right side of the brain. And here's the thing, we're running with systematic programming. We're operating asleep, right? We're operating in reacting to situations, circumstances or people unconsciously because we haven't got these sides of the brain synced. This is the whole Christos light activation that needs to happen here. Okay, so did you know that in the three to 10 seconds that somebody's making up their mind about you, if you look 
only into their left eye you can connect soul to soul, light to light. You can appease the programming, you can tap in to the right side of the brain, the right hemisphere. Isn't this amazing? I know that a lot of you will be sitting there thinking, oh, this, this won't work, but it actually is scientific. I knew about the eye gazing, but this makes absolute sense to me and I can't wait to get practicing it. So here's the thing. We have the, the pupils are going to tell you whether or not they're trusting you, whether or not they're receiving the information that you're giving to them. The pupil, if it's received uh, positively, it will get bigger. The pupil will dilate. We know scientifically that if someone's in love with you, their pupils dilate, right? Their pupils dilate, they get bigger because they're receiving love. Isn't love light? Okay, well, let's wheel it in with just giving somebody a little bit of information. If you gaze into their left eye, you will connect soul to soul. You will connect right brain hemisphere with yours and they will be more inclined to listen to you. If the pupil starts to contract, you know then to either check in and say, how can I help you understand what I'm expressing or give it up, that book's closed. These are portals, windows to the soul. So let, we know that darkness attracts light, black attracts light. This is the whole melanin thing within the body. This is why Christ came for the sheep. They were melanin people, they were melanated. The, the darkness attracts the light. This happens in every single fractal, whether you like to think about that or not. Like, <laughs> it's absolutely incredible. So are not the windows to the soul the darkness? And the darkness will open up to receive the light, black attracts every fractal, every piece of the color spectrum is absorbed by blackness, right? So here's as a spiritual being, when we know this, we have to dive into the darkness on oh so many levels. Dive into your own fears, dive into your own programming, dive into your own traumas, absorb them. Let the light do its work within. It's inner standing. It's such an incredible thing to discuss. Yeah, what are you saying there? The, the eye gazing groups. Yeah, eye gazing connection. I get couples to do this that come in that are working on relationships. I ask them to sit without words because when we're sitting in an offense, we can't hear you anyway. We cannot hear you when I'm offended. I cannot hear you when I'm all, I've already made my mind up about you. And uh, as I mentioned, that's made within the three to 10 second window. Communicate with the window of the left eye. Now I wanna take this a little bit further because of this awakening, we're seeing crazy things that we never knew about. Have you heard about the left eye club? I'm going to attempt to show you on my laptop, but you can Google this too. It's not, or you know, use another platform if you prefer. Um, let's, let's see why politicians, religious leaders, and those that we put up on a pedestal, calling them our leaders or our idols or our movie stars, belong to a club that has a black eye. Let me just show you quickly. You can look it up yourself. So I won't, won't leave this here for long, but yeah, you'll see some very, very influential people there. And um, they all have a punch, a bruise on their left eye. What are the symbols saying to you there? What do you think this club's about? Who's punching them? And why are they doing it? I see this as very telling. I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, I will not be taking advice from anyone that is part of the Black Eye Club. My soul cannot connect. My right hemisphere, my light cannot connect with a closed door. It's bruised. It's very interesting. So I would like you to ponder that. Not, I'm not exposing this because I want you to be fearful. I'm exposing this because I want you to know that we as humans are all equal and it's time to knock leaders off a pedestal just in your own meditations. We need to understand that you are a child of God and that somebody that has a closed door may have a disconnect with the light. Let's just ponder this 
logically. Let's just ponder this logically and understand why we are here. I am compassionate even to them, if I could say that without making you afraid, because darkness, if you're running in darkness intentionally in this realm, you need more love than anybody else could ever require. It's funny, isn't it? Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. I'll just check my little bits of notes. Yep and see if I've given you everything that I wanted to to spill today. I find this type of information very, very exciting. We are stepping not just into a season of knowledge, but a season of wisdom, a season of light activation, a season of soul connecting all together upstairs. Did you know that your soul is connected to the light above? We're not separate up there. Love is one oneness is what's going to change this world it's beautiful isn't it yep your eyes take in information in seconds enough to crash a laptop it's time for a reboot a reprogramming with love i'm visualizing your left eye i know it's it's difficult in the camera because it's all reversed for a reason in the black mirror but i'm visualizing sending you love to your left eye connecting with you soul to soul. Bye.